Hi YouTube! So I'm here today with uh, a bit of a haul. This was a couple of um, Sephora orders, a new store that I went to, and actually um, I think my... what month is it now? It's June? I think my May top box is uh, in this haul as well because I didn't film a separate video for that top box. So I have actually a whole bunch of stuff, so let's get started. So first I'll do all the stuff that I got from Sephora and one of the things that I got was the Bosha, Basha, whatever, Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. There's the box right there. I'll uh, pop it open here so you can see what it looks like. I had a small sample of this. There's the bottle right there. I had a small sample of this. Ah! Angry camera. There we go. I had a small sample of this. Well, I think there's probably about that much in the sample ball that I had. And I love this stuff. It was amazing. It was so good at taking off makeup and not stripping your skin. Um, I've tried a couple different oils, but this one was by far my favorite. So I purchased a large one. Next is the Amore Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peel. There's the box right there. This one, I actually, I gotta say I got because there was a bit of a hype behind it. I heard a lot of people talking about it, how, you know, well it... It's, uh, it's like a chemical exfoliator, how well it exfoliated their skin, and people really liked it, blah, 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 blah. So there's the bottle right there. Just plain white with the silver thing on the top there. And what makes this really interesting is that it's a powder. And what you do is you open up the top, and there is a, um, like some sort of mechanism that measures out how much powder you get for each of your treatments. And so you pour it into the cap, pour it into your hand, add a little bit of water, and it sort of foams up, and you rub it all over your face. And uh, it feels really nice. It has a nice scent. The only problem I'm having so far, I've used this for about a week, um, only problem I've had so far is that I think my measuring uh, mechanism in here, the thing that pours out how much you need, is a little off. So I'm not really sure if I'm using too much or if I'm using too little. I don't know. So I'm going to keep using it. Hopefully I'm not using too much because that would really make me mad because this was kind of expensive. But I like it so far. Only been a week. We'll see how things go. The next three items are all lip products. The first is a lip gloss from NARS. Here's the box. I'll just open it up. Now, I was never really a fan of the NARS lip glosses before, but then um, I read that they had reformulated their formula. And so I thought I would uh, give it a try. This color is called Chihuahua. <laughs> there it is right there. It's just a really pretty sort of rosy pink. And I'm actually wearing it uh, right now, but I can give it a swatch on my hand. And so far, I'm liking it. It's quite nice. There it is on my hand. You can see how well you can see that. The camera's being really uh, angry today. It's not wanting to focus. So I'm sorry if that's not focusing for you. But um, yeah, I have it on my lips so far. I like it. We'll see how well it wears. That was my problem before. I found that they turned really gummy on me. I'm not really sure why. It's sort of weird. But I like the color, so we'll give it a try. Next is the Hourglass Extreme Sheen High Shine Lip Gloss. There's the box right there. Pretty gold shiny. And I have the color Nectar which is this amazingly beautiful, like, orangey coral. It's gorgeous. And I love these hourglass tubes. It sort of comes to, like, a point right there at the end. It's just so sleek and so nice. And I'll, I'll swatch this one, too. This is a gorgeous color. I love it. I love it. But this one is a lot sheerer than the other one. But um, it's such a, a strong color that that's probably okay. And it's the top swatch there. That one is just beautiful. I'm so excited to wear that one. Next product is a bite product. Of course, can I not stop buying their products? But it is the Bite Beauty um, Deconstructed Rose Lipstick. There's the box. So pretty. It's got pictures of roses all over it. And it's in the color... Um, Centifolia, which I guess is a type of rose. I'm not very knowledgeable about types of flowers, but whatever. There's the tube. I'll just pop this open. 
and it, I've worn this one already, it is a beautiful pinky orange rose color. I'll swatch that on my hand too. Oh, it's such a gorgeous pink. So beautiful. And it is again the top one on that swatch. I love the Bite lipsticks. They're so gorgeous. And this one has a very distinct rose smell. So if you don't like the smell of roses, you might not like that. Though I don't really notice it when I wear it and it's not something that you can really taste. But uh, it's so funny because all of the Bite lipsticks have different, well not all of them, but there's I think four different types of tubes and they all have sort of a different shape on the top. You can see the shape on that one. And let's see, here's another one that I have and this one kind of has a flat top on it. You can see the, the difference between those two there. And all of them are supposed to be like shapes that your lipstick turns into after you've used it for a while. So depending on how you use your lipstick, it'll make whatever shape at the top. It's just kind of funny. I think it was, that was a really clever um, packaging, really cute. And I never know whether to show the samples that you get from Sephora in, um, in these haul videos, but I guess I'll show, I don't know, quick ones. There is the, uh, the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Press Powder sample. Sample of the Smarty Plants Origins SPF 20 Skin CC, woo, dropped it. CC cream, but it's just those little pouch ones. I don't like those ones as much as the uh, deluxe samples, obviously. A Smashbox Full Exposure. You can try 10 of the shades that are in the Smashbox. Oh, and a cat just jumped up behind the camera. A sma the 10 shades of eyeshadow in the Smash Smashbox, Smashbox exposure palette. This one I'm actually really excited about. It is a, actually I'll just open it right now. Yes. It is a mascara sample and oh I love mascara. It is the Dior Addict It Lash. There it is right there. It's a teeny tiny little sample but that's okay. And it's kind of funny because it's not a, uh, a usual mascara tube. It has that like crimped kind of tube ending on the end of it. Kind of weird, but we'll see how it goes. I also got an HD, or sorry, a Makeup Forever HD High Definition Primer, a, uh, a NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer, little foil packs, and that's fine. And then some deluxe samples. I think maybe one of these was a 100 point perk. Um, it's the Elizabeth and James Nirvana. I got one of the roller balls and it's the black one. There it is right there. And this smells really nice. Uh, yeah, it's, I've heard a lot of people like the white one better. It has a more floral kind of smell to it, but this one's a little bit muskier. And I don't know, that's, that's kind of smells that I like a little bit better. Ones that are a little bit deeper, a little bit masculine. I really like those a lot. And the other deluxe sample was um, a Bare Minerals, uh, a bare minerals sample of the original um, broad spectrum broad spectrum mineral powder foundation. There's a little booklet that went with it. There's my little foundation pot and a cute little brush. It's actually very soft. So I'm kind of excited because I've never actually tried the bare minerals foundation before. So that's very exciting for me. Yay! The next items that I picked up were actually from MAC. And I don't buy MAC makeup too often, only when something sort of really special catches my eye. And of course, they are items from the Alluring Aquatic uh, collection. Because I, oh my god, I wasn't really planning on getting anything, but I kept seeing it everywhere and everywhere and everywhere. And then I finally went into a MAC store to look at it, and it was just gorgeous. And I, I gotta say, like, Almost half the reason I bought it was because the packaging is just so beautiful. And I know everyone has been saying, you know, how gorgeous the packaging is, but it is true. So I picked up the uh, Extra Dimension Blush in See Me, Hear Me. And there is the packaging, that gorgeous blue with the water droplets that are actually three-dimensional when you touch them. And I'll just open, Ooh, open that up. There it is. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous blush. So soft, so beautiful. I don't think that this swatch is gonna show up very well, so it's probably better to see 
it in the pan and the color is actually coming out fairly true to what it looks like in life. So gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I also picked up a lipstick uh, in Mystical and it is the cream sheen and I got to show you this packaging because it's just this beautiful aqua bullet. It's so beautiful, so gorgeous. And there's the color. It's sort of a, uh, a dark, dusty, browny rose. And this is definitely a um, sort of my lips but better type of color for me. And there's that swatch. It's coming off a little bit brighter on camera than it does in real life, but absolutely gorgeous and I'm really excited. I've been using these two products since the day I picked them up. Gorgeous. Now, from my May top box, I haven't done a top box um, unboxing in a couple of months because I was actually a little bit disappointed with the last couple of months. I don't know. Um, I'm sort of on the fence about whether I'm going to be canceling my top box uh, subscription or not, but we'll see what they send me this month. Hopefully they can redeem themselves. So the first item was the Elizabeth Arden um, Visible Difference Skin Balancing Lotion SPF 15. So just a little... A little pump tube right there, nothing too special. And uh, I believe this is supposed to be a sunscreen. Though it's only SPF 15, so it's really not even that high. But, you know, I'll get use out of it for the summer. Next item is the Lancome uh, Hypnos Doll Lashes Mascara. And sort of interesting, there it is right there. I do like trying new mascaras. It's probably my favorite beauty item. But the last time I tried this one, it stung my eyes like crazy. So I think I have an allergy to it. So I'm not really excited to put this one back on. That's not Top Box's fault. That's whatever. It's just my eyes. But maybe I'll give this one away. I'm not really sure yet. Next item is a nail polish. And it is by... What is this brand? It's really hard to read because of the way the polish is in the bottle. It's Kinetics... Kinetics Nails? And this color is Splatter It. And it's sort of this splattery black and white kind of polish. Kind of looks like splattered paint. But they're actually different sizes of um, black and white glitter that's not sparkly. So little pieces of material in a clear polish. So I don't know what this will look like when I put it on, but we'll give it a try. Next item, probably the thing that I was most excited about in the entire top box and it's one of the new benefit tinted lip balms and this one is the posy bomb but i gotta say i was a little bit disappointed because when i opened it up like look how big that packaging is you know that's not that's like size of my thumb so it's not that teeny and it's really pretty i open it up twist it look how much stinking product is in that sample like seriously that is like two applications that was really disappointing for the size of this sample to only have that much. Like, what is going on inside this huge tube? And last but not least are products from a new store that just opened up here in Ottawa. And it is called The Face Shop. And it's actually um, owned by the company Fruits and Passions, which is a, uh, like a, a body smell kind of... It's almost like Bath & Body Works. They have bath products, lotions... Um, you know, body mists. I think they might have candles. I'm not really sure. I don't go into that store very often, but when I heard that this store was opening, I was kind of intrigued, and they were also having a really good, like, opening day sale. So here's the bag that goes with my little haul here, and I'll take everything out because the bag is really crinkly. So what's really special about this store is that the products are all supposed to be super natural and, you know, not have a lot of odd chemicals, but use a lot of, um, like, beeswax and a lot of plant uh, extracts and things like that. And also, the products, or, sorry, not the products, I guess the store was originally launched in Korea. So all of the products are uh, Korean beauty products, which is really, really cool because we don't really have anywhere around here that we can get stuff like that. So I went a little nutso and they actually had an amazing sale. It was, they had three different amounts that you could purchase things and then get money off. So it was like spend $25, get $5 off, spend $35, get $10 off, $45, $15 off, stuff like that. So it actually worked out really well. You know, you spent 
your 35 bucks and then you just found ten dollars worth of stuff that you want for free so it was really awesome so I picked up a whole bunch of stuff first item is actually I'll open this up because it'll be ah, a little bit easier to see Ooh, garbage so this is the dessert lip balm and I don't know what flavor it's in because all of the writing is in Korean but there it is right there it's just like a little pot it looks like a little honey pot and you open up this top part and there's like a little applicator for your lips shaped like one of those um, little like honey dippers you know that you dip in a pot of honey and, and to get the, the honey out there it is I'll just put it back in there for now and my cat's eating that plastic there we go and then when you want to use the product you just untwist it like this and there it is it's kind of like a a jelly almost and it it has a very like peachy mango type of smell to it so I'm kind of excited about that because it looks super yummy <laughs> next item is a it says lesson three artist finger gloss by face it three effects and 27 percent water-based formula so I guess that this goes on the um, one of the ladies at the shop she was telling me that when this goes on it seems really glossy but then eventually the gloss goes away and you get kind of a matte tint and the color really stays for a long time so I mean we'll try it out um, the prices how do I get into this thing the prices in this store were actually really cheap like I think this it was only like 10 bucks so it was almost comparable to drugstore prices which was really amazing so there's the tube once it's out of the box you can sort of see a little window with the color in it and the color of this is I have no idea because it's written in Korean sorry but it comes out it's got a little doe foot applicator I'll put it on my hand here has a a bit of a marshmallowy sweet kind of smell it's a little bit hard to see in this light again but there it is right there and it's like an orangey pink type of color and then after that I got a ton of sheet masks because you can't find sheet masks anywhere else and yeah these just looked really great and they were super cheap they're only like a dollar or two dollars each so uh, yeah I went a little nuts so let's see I got an acai, acai berry one. There it is. I got a cucumber. Oops, it's on the floor. A cucumber mask. There we are. I got a cranberry extract hydro gel mask sheet. So this one's a little bit different. Is a rice mask. And these are all supposed to do different thing, different things for your face, either you know, act as anti-aging or moisturizing, whatever, cooling, whatever have you. Aloe, plan to use that one if I uh, spend a little bit too much time in the sun. And then after all those deals, $10 and off and everything, they gave me a little package that contains one, two, three, four, six of their best sellers. So I haven't opened it yet. There's the little package, but uh, let's see. I'll just open that up. We've got, oh man. It's a really good thing that there are instructions on that little package because otherwise I wouldn't know what this is. It says it's the swim fermented concentrate. For what? I'm not really sure. Little tiny bottle here. Next one is the Aura Color Control Cream in natural beige. There we are. Uh, oh, and there's some more information about the face shop. Some little when it was established. Oh, it's the third largest market share in Korean co cosmetic market. Third largest market share in Korean cosmetic market. That sounds like an odd sentence, but that's very interesting. There is the let's see calming seed skin resting cream there it is 
the Aqua Drop Pack Sleeping Mask. Ooh, that sounds nice. The Power Perfection BB Cream in Natural Beige. Oh, camera doesn't like that one. And last but not least, the Rice Water Bright Cleansing Foam. Natural Brightening Solution with Rice Water. And when they say brightening, I'm kind of hoping they don't mean whitening. Because that's not going to be so good for me. But whatever. But anyways, yeah, so that's all my stuff. And I've got stuff littered around me on the floor here. My cat is having a field day trying to eat it all. But I hope you guys liked this haul. I had a fun time buying it all. And uh, I hope you all have a great day.